Hey everyone. Yesterday I brought in a deck about the Swarm Blood, which is pretty fun already. But today I played a deck which is really fun because it uses a lot of create and therefore you can um, use the enemy's tactic against them. And since you use a lot of assimilate in like also spying, um, like for example, cards like Enforcer to get value from spying units, um, creates actually way more reliable than you think because you get all this extra point to, let's say, push back against the randomness. And so today I'll bring you the Anor Henrietta Assimilate Guide. And I hope you have a lot of fun. We go through cards, through mulligans for gameplay, and then to two example matches. So I hope you enjoy and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Let's go. As always, let's start with the cards. And this time I'm actually going through bronzes and then I go like from low provision cards to the high provision cards because the basis of the deck lies in the bronzes. And the first one is already um, the Duke Guard. It's basically just a three point body with Assimilate. So Assimilate, which means as soon as we play a card that has not started in our deck, it will buff by one. And we have a lot of tools to do that, so the Assimilate keyword is very important here. The second Assimilate um, unit we play is the, the Imperial Diviner. It's the same like the Duke Guard, three point body with Assimilate, but it has Purify on it. And that is important, for example, if you play against Vampires, if there's a lot of Pleading, or if you play against Drides and they have a lot of Vitality, you can actually use the Purify to get that off them, and that is pretty good as well. Also, Purify does remove locks, so if anyone locks, for example, your Ducal Guard, you just play the Imperial Diviner to get a lock off it, and you can assimilate again. What you need to mention here, what, what, I, what I need to mention here is, we only have two four point provision cards in there and that is because we run a card and now we go to gold is portal portal sounds two random units with four provision cards from a deck on both sides of this card which means like if you play portal we always get the duke guard uh, which is very important because for portal we can fin but we also get like two assimilate units onto the board right away which uh, helps us tremendously to get the engines going as fast as possible so that's why we play Portal and only two four provision cards. That's important in the deck. Then we have um, Enforcers. I'm going to that just I will explain in a second. Enforcers, basically, you know it from, from Grand, the three point body. And every time you play a spy on the enemy side, then it will get a charge. And for every charge, you can hit like as an order ability an enemy for two. And those cards are the meat of the deck. Assimilate, assimilate units like Divine and Guard and then Forces. And then we have a lot of cards to support them. This is where the meat of the deck really is. For example, Duchess and Format, probably one of my favorite cards of the expansion. It's a spy, so it will uh, synergy with Enforces, but and it, it, it also synergizes with the Diviners and uh, the Guard because you can spawn a base copy of a non spying enemy unit. So, for example, if the enemy plays monsters and he has like Harpies and like, say, Rodfins there. You can play just Duchess Informant to use his cards on your side of the board against him, which will trigger all the assimilate cards and the enforcer. So uh, a lot of points uh, through Duchess Informant if you have the setup of the engines going. Then we have cards like Imperial Diplomacy. Create and play bronze card from opponent's factions is not directly playing his cards or her cards against, um, against them, but it will trigger assimilate because you just play a random card in. For six provisions it's quite high. Uh, because typically you don't get like up to six provision, but as I said, like with um, the assimilate, this is actually going to be working for sure. Then we have the remedy play bronze unit from a prince graveyard. For example, you have a harpy egg through Duchess informant. You can just play remedy, get the rodfin out, triggered, or get the Goliath out, triggered. So you, with this, you can target your enemy's graveyard and enable a lot of synergies the enemy has in the deck on your side of the board while triggering all your engines. Um, Moondust, because like before I forget it, is just a bomb. It does like four damage. The good thing about it is it purifies the unit. Um, so that's why I like it more than, for example, Azaz Thunder, because the enemy wants to protect key cards like a Sianna with a shield or whatever. Like it will purify it first, hits it, and also like for example, if the enemy has like a six turn vitality boost or something, you just play Moondust and it, you will get like you remove the vitality. You also damage it before, so it's a great removal tool against key engines from the opponent. So that's why I like it more than else Thunder. And then we have a lot of stuff to fin through our deck and to trigger like the spy and assimilate synergy. One is Prince Willem. It's a spy. Play random gold from a deck. Typically I save this for last because we have other cards to get gold cards out. And if then, then there's only one gold card in a deck, I can play Prince Willem. 
and it will pull me the last gold card out. Runestain is there, it's um, create and play a North Guard faction card, helps with your assimilate, maybe you can actually get some other cards like Spies or whatever, which triggers then like the remaining synergy, so the gold deck is always triggered as much synergy as possible, and often this can help you out of your crucial situation. Sometimes it's not as useful, but that's the nature of create, so um, be sure to not use it when you definitely need, let's say, six points for sure, then like, gambling is like really dangerous. Um, play it when you are safe and you just need to trigger the engines. Cantrella plays the top card from your opponent's deck, um, again helps with the play his deck or her deck against um, uh, your enemy. And Cantrella is as a spy triggering the, like your um, your spy synergies, and since you play top card from your opponent's deck, it also triggers assimilate. So again, a good inclusion in the deck. Roderick is basically Prince Willem, um, but it costs more provisions, and it looks you can look at two random gold cards from a deck and then play one. So typically you play Roderick, and then like when you only have one card, you play Vinland. Same stuff I'm talking the whole time about spy synergy. Bribery, create and play unit from your opponent's side deck, again, helps with your uh, synergy. If you already like used a lot of, for example, duchesses, and um, you have already, let's say, half by six out, then bribery can help you to get like crones, for example, or stuff that just synergizes as well with um, the enemy synergies already on your side. Artorius Rigo is amazing. Uh, he creates and plays a one point power copy of bronze unit from your static deck. That could be one of those. It could be like another. Uh, Diviner, that means like with Artorias you already get two simile cards out of the deck, including a periphery card. You can also use it to get enforced on the board if you have a lot of spy cards in hand, but you can also use it on a brigade to pull the remaining brigades out of the deck. So, um, a lot of uses for Vigo. Hengavesford is like an interesting choice. Um, I'm, I need to say I'm not 200% sure about this. In the current setup, it works pretty well because what you can do is you can, for example, play a Roderick. Play and Gaze Sweat, play Roderick again, get more golds out gold of the deck. But it also helps, for example, if the enemy... Uh, let's, let's go over the top, here's a Sian on the board. You kill the Siviana with the hand Gaze Sweat, get the extra thing. I got a Damien once with that, and that stuff like that really helps you. So um, you have a lot of like cards to set up the sword, like um, the Enforcers, for example. Um, you can also like use um, cards from enemies with Duchess against it. So um, Worst case, you get a Duchess, by the way, for the hand Gaze Sword. So, has a lot of uses and a lot of targets if you can't use it on the enemy, so um, I felt like the safest deck to include it, it's probably actually one of those. Then we have Triss, creates and plays a bronze special card from either player's current deck, so typically you can get stuff like remedies, maybe a bomb if you need it, but also you can use the enemy's car cards against it, against him again. So this typically triggers the simulate, sometimes it triggers it actually twice. Good card to have. Umbus Curse, another random card just to um, trigger all the assimilates, creates and plays a gold unit from any faction. Totally random. Sometimes you get good stuff out of it, sometimes it's not worth the provision costs, but with assimilate, like, it's very likely that it actually gets value, which is why we do it here. And that's all about the cards. About the mulligans. Since you have assimilate cards and spy cards, you need to be careful like when to play what. Also, we have two cards that can pull us a good assimilate ground engine setup out of the deck, and that's Portal and Vigo. And what I like to do is I like to split this. So for example, if I have Arturis Vigo in hand, then I'm not going to play Portal. If I play Portal, then I don't going to play Arturis Vigo. Otherwise, like there's too many engines on the board and I typically overkill. And what do you do then, for example, in round one, uh, round three, if you already use like those cards in round one. So split them up. Also, most importantly, in the mulligan, if you're going to play Portal, you don't want to have ducal cards in your hand. So typically when you see ducal card, get rid of it. Like you don't need it, you want to pull it with Portal later. Um, other cards you don't want to have right away in your hand. For example, if you have like Rhetoric and um, Rhetoric and Willem, then you need to be aware of that you have gold cards in your hand. So always check your deck when mulliganing to if you have targets for those cards. If you have hand games for it, you can even have more gold cards in the deck because you theoretically can kill Roderick and get one more gold card out of the deck, so always be sure to manage your gold cards in the deck. And also round one, you don't want to have Experimental Remedy because there's nothing in enemy's grave yet, so get that out of your way in round one. And the rest, well, you don't want to have two brigades, of course. The rest is just like, if you have like one Enforcers, um, then you probably want to have more spies. If you don't have Enforcers, then you probably want to have more cast and support assimilate. So balance that up in your mulligan. About the gameplay plan, there is not that much to say. We already said it, like split Portal and uh, Antares Vigo. 
try to set up like three to four engines in three cards and then try to steamroll. Typically you want to get like one and four out and some assimilate units, which is okay because Vigo for example gives you two assimilate units and Portal gives you two assimilate units, so you just need to play for example another Diviner and you already need it there. Um, about Diviner, you want to probably keep them in your hand for a bit especially if you play against Drides or Vampires because that's where you can get like really good purifies on so don't force them out right away if you play against this type of decks because they will get you way more value later especially if they play let's say Queen of the Night or Oriana and stuff and then you play Diviner get a lot of value out of it so keep that also if you play against stuff that can lock a lot Diviners can purify the lock so um, it opens up like, just way more possibilities if, for example, um, you play them later as a reactive card, so to say. One important thing we need to talk is about Henrietta, because Henrietta creates and plays a card from your opponent's hand, which obviously helps with your assimilate units. But if you play it when your enemy has only four or three cards, you can get the good stuff from his hand, and also like you passively force the enemy to kind of like play his good stuff before. Um, so. If you play, for example, like three cards, you see the whole hand of the enemy, which makes your sequencing for the last three cards from your side way easier. So um, be sure to wait with her, except you expect that your similar units will be wiped out next turn. If you don't play any Henrietta, then you can do it sooner, but otherwise I would just keep it until very last. And then I would say let's just head into example match and see how the stack plays actually out. Usurper, how Speak your mind. not nice. The, the thing is, okay, I can get my card out, but I still get five more provisions than he does. This probably has a lot of locks though. Oh, let's see. That's good. You don't need remedy in round one. <laughs> Problem is actually if he mm. aux me. Well, if he uses it on my diviner. So what we're doing here is, since he probably plays a lot of locks, we're going to bait the ox onto the enforcer. And we hope that he does it. Because if he uses it on my diviners, then I got a problem. The senses can be He's playing a simulator, okay, easy. interesting. Okay, yeah, still in my Forza, sure. Look who we have here. So the funny thing is, we can do the same thing here. Without the extra simulate tick, but hey, if we can get good enforcers, that's fine as well. Pew pew, my friend. Pew pew. Thanks for the additional and for some. So if he augs, then he has even better target now. <laughs> which is good for me because then I can play my Vigo, which is probably what I want to do next. I swear on my lady Scarter. Mm, okay, sure. What is true? Now K is actually gonna play it on the diviner. Stars contend you shall be victorious. He probably kills it though. Oh, well, we'll see. Let's hit the Vigo, which is what we want to kill. If not by strength, okay. by stealth. I think we need to start playing a bit. Uh, all of those are fine. Don't want to play Portal there. If you get a Vigo, it's fine as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to Roderick. Um, I can guess for it actually. Look at this. We could create another Roderick. And with another Roderick, we could thin a bit more. Or we just go Runestone. Or we just go Vigo actually. So we set up a long round here too, obviously. There we go. You will not regret this, sir. Oh, actually, look at this. We could play an Enforcer. Actually, it's playing Formant. 
Oh shit, we don't have any good one here. Ah oh, damn, that was a mistake. Shit, I should have not picked him for him. No. At least we got two ticks out. So this is like pretty, pretty amazing here. At this point, we probably can pass here. If I would have gotten those out as well, then the pass would have been even better. Let the evil doers quit. We really can't do this in, what, two cards? So if you play one more card, it would be actually pretty good, I think. Don't want to play Spy, we don't play Uma, we just want to play... Not even the bomb is, like, helps us here. Do we just pass? He needs 11 points here. So he can't play just like 4 point cards and be good with it. He actually needs to have something... Which really, really... No door is yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Now he needs to have a 7 point card. Which means he needs to commit a gold we card. Have secrets of one kind. That's what I'm saying. So already, okay, we got Vivian out. Which is like Tambor Visions, that's pretty good. And we can't push this in one two because we are two points up. So you can have quest dry pass, but yeah, I mean Why would you? I mean that's what he needs to do, I mean, but Remedy, can we actually steal his Yeah, we can actually steal Enforcer, which is amazing. We don't need to bump probably. I'd like, love to see more spells though. So are we going to Finn here? I like actually playing her in blue. Because you can set up your, your orders and stuff. Or like your enforcers. Which is pretty, pretty decent. I'm not sure if we need purify. If he has locks, we can actually purify the locks, which is amazing. Okay, we got like a lot of good stuff. We got Willem. Willem gives me one of those. Actually, if I draw one of those, it would be even better. Um, oh god, what to do? Remedy is pretty decent, probably. I don't know. Runestone, maybe, actually. There we go. There we go. Let's see what he does. This enables me to control him a bit, which is amazing. Okay, sure. Doesn't bother me too much currently. Let's get portal out immediately. I'll show my mother she's wrong. Yes, sir. There we go. Can we kill it off. I don't see reason not to. Okay. There you go. Now I have two assimilated units out, which means we can also like go remedy and get another enforcer. So if we want to get a lot of engines and like those, I don't know if we purify lock is probably what's the most important here. Okay, can we get like two damage out in a turn? I actually can go Duchess Informant, which is pretty good. You scratch my so we could and I'll you. scratch yours. Yeah. We may hit one of those, but let's just get the damage out right away. And we can still get another one of the enforcers. Okay, like kill one of them, I said. Oh, call the look at this. A lesson in humility coming sure. now. Kill it. Okay. So I think I'm going to play Cantarella here just to get rid of this one. Maybe it actually gives me something good. Um, the rest is kind of like, I don't know. We can get even more value if we... I would like to to get this. But the problem is if I do that, then... I can't kill this in right away. So, let's go counter rally here. No one this is the bigger threat. Oh, cool. Sergeant, why not? Now I can focus on my, the rest of my assimilate. Uh, uh, There's another one of those, are you kidding me? Oh my god, what we do here now is actually we're going informant. We're going to get another enforcer. There we go. Then we hit it. At some point we need to 
Let's see what we do with Caldwell. Okay. It doesn't block, so actually, this one actually. Well, I can be computer with a shield between two. Okay, so we need. I actually can kill it right now. Good. So now I can just start using the rest of my simulated units. Which at some point we actually need to do because like those will all trigger simulate. Now let's see what we do with Caldwell. More well, other questions about Triss will pull me. That's pretty decent. Pretty good. So we got now four assimilated units, one on deploy. So that's pretty decent as well. Wow. Okay, well, we can, we can do stuff too, so let's see. Well, from any faction, or do we go... Do we look for something? They want to have a slave infantry as well, no we don't. Do we Uma? What's Uma? Let's play spell from a deck, that's actually pretty okay. What is the other one? Osrel? I think Osrel has no targets, right? No. Nope, nope, nope. We're going to play spell. There we go. Why did you kind of play a spell? Oh, because they are all human tactics. Oh my god. That was... <laughs> I probably lost it right there. <laughs> oh god, kids. What do we do? That is pretty amazing. <laughs> Vigo. This will give me runestone and trigger spy, so let's go for it. Push on! No mercy! There you go, assimilation and force the trigger. A lock. Who's a soldier but two? We have no I can't boost it but two, but like I have something to lock but really. I actually need to go assimilate here. And uh, then we probably want to hit this one. Because at some point we want to have the highest unit. He probably plays like higher point removal. Play or something. Okay. Let's see if we can. Let's see what we get here. Bombs and diplomacy. Well, bomb helps us to kill this one. Diplomacy will trigger anything. Well, we, I think we need to get lucky, otherwise, like we won't do this. So, let's see what we get here. Well, at least we can lock it. It's pretty decent with what we get here, but it's not enough. Though. Question is just, can we get? Do we get cold girls? Yes, we get. Perfect. Nice. Even better this play. Okay, wow. Well. This is going to be interesting. I've not seen Arnold in ages. <laughs> but okay, maybe like the. Uh, maybe Crimson Curse actually brought it back to life. Who knows? We got Pearl, by the way, which helps us a lot. Oh, we are in, on red, which helps us as well because we can set up. I mean, like, typically I like to play Honor Henrietta on blue, actually. Because you uh, have a lot of proactive plays, which it's really good to play, especially on round three and uh, on blue. But um, the good thing about red is that you can just like set up your engines, and maybe you can overtake him. We'll see. It's not it's not bad to be in red, but I think she's also like uh, on blue. She's very good actually, especially round three on blue. I think is. So what? Pretty cool. I into a so he's playing warriors. I have nothing to say against it. I don't care too much. Question is like, what can his warrior do damage-wise? So we don't. We are not going to play front row. We're going to thin and get this and yes, things out basically. And let's see maybe what we can do. The Duchess, Duchess. Question is, what we do in forces? Because if you can't play the front row because of the warriors. We'll see. We will see. 
Of course, the uh, warriors were killing them. I need to discard a card. The question is what we do here. Um, I kind of like to play in forces, but he will get immediately killed. This is melee. Let's set up more simulated units for now. Now we have three engines, and then let's see what we can do. Maybe we can like do Don't some warrior gameplay as well. Don't let this card though. So you can discard one, which means like you can hit something down to two at one. And now we're going to Duchess. Duchess immediately to maybe let's see if we can get rid of that one. I don't know, maybe even of that one. We will see. Let's go spy. We actually spy with this. We're gonna play warrior. Yeah, let's go. Let's go warrior, yeah. There we go. In this case, it would be even better if you could get the force out. It's actually fine. We could play it now to go it there, but like I think I just go with the warrior synergy here, and then we'll see. So he's fixing his hand. Okay. So we had six. I think this could be an opening to actually actually play forces. It's supposed to be one. So we're in at 6-6, six, six. I'm three points down. I th now we need to get the engines rolling. Okay, rain, I don't care too much about rain. Tempo wise is actually fine. Okay, let's go with Duchess Informant if we go for it. Probably want to go melee as well, I don't know. Let's see. We don't discard cards, but we may want to get more warriors, so. There we go. Whenever I play a warrior, I play... Oh, it's not a warrior, that's why. Okay, I see. I see. Um, probably just killed. So we're now... One point ahead, right? So the grace with something we want to get rid of right away. Who's <laughs> playing leader right away? Okay. Death is only the beginning. And in the back row, sure. I mean, because of the grace with the sea, but still. So he's quite ahead here, but he played later, I don't see... I mean, we actually... Can we push here is the question? Spy is still on, we could even play Cantarella, just like to fit a bit on his side. This crazy will tick there, so I don't care. Let's just pass, like, leader is out. We have advantage here. That's fine. I don't want to play into the great sword. We would have said like we would have had great engine set up there, so it would actually be would have been fine to play. But yeah. moon does make him handy. I don't know. Remedy may be good, especially if you get great sword stuff. I'll probably get rid of those. What do we have here? We have three gold, four gold cuts. So I actually need to mulligan a bit more. We play this. Okay, there we go. Another gold cut. Perfect. It's increasing the chance that we actually fin for the gold cards, and that's actually what we use right now because that way we fin even more. And then we play round three and blow, which is said is not a bad thing to have. And let's see, his leader's out, so that's like a great thing for us. There is Antares Vigo, that's the perfect setup for two. Now we need to be careful, we actually, have two less. Do we go? Let's get the runes to back into that. And what do we still have in there? Forces would be good. Forces were assimilate. I think we go for assimilate probably. What's that here? Um, yeah, assimilate I think is, is okay. Well, let's see if we can kill it right away. Let's see. What can I steal here? I can steal the dashes. I can steal the great sword. I can steal those guys. I'm turning it against them. Absurd, okay. Don't I don't care too much about that. We can kill it though, so it won't berserk. Is 
there are, but there are better targets for that. Like if you place like the, the priest or something. I set up more engines as well have the turn. Let's see. Let's see what the end gates were. Probably something like a Roderick. We don't need Roderick because we have like enough. But so we actually need to hit something from his. I'll see. We will see. Question also about the moon bomb. I hope he plays Breeze or something. Or another one of his engines, like Brock for Hunter. That's my moon bomb target. And Uma, well, let's see if the great gods are on our side. <laughs> He's thinking, which is a good idea. We'll probably play had four or three cards. We'll see. We will see. Roderick. He's locking. Okay, he's locking the 1.0. I don't care too much. Hmm. Do we steal the Fanatic? But I don't hit it, so. Triss. Don't have much assimilate going right away. We could just bribe right now and see if we can get another assimilate target. Ship. Well. But we need to. Well, actually, we can play it on the back. It's still another. Because. It's still. The, the chain is still in reach. I really want to avoid like, playing into his warriors. Don't know what he's playing there. Like. He's playing everything, I see. Is this Shoop, actually? It could be... No. Well, it's mine, actually. So far, it could be Shoop. <laughs> okay, maybe we run into Shoop here. Except I don't see... No, it's actually one of everything. This could be Shoop, guys. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see if he can trail his, his Shoop. That would be amazing. <laughs> Will it trigger actually? If you can trailer his shoe, it doesn't trigger, right? Let's maybe can trailer next and see what we get. I mean, like, getting this would be even better, okay? So we can kill it somehow, I guess. We can just hit it with the bomb and get some value. We can also wait with that, so. That is amazing. That is pretty amazing. And we hit the jungle because, like, theoretically, we can hand gates with the country rather and get, like, another something out of it. But it's a pretty good combo here. That happens when you just play his cards. <laughs> Maybe actually go for the hand gates with the country We'll see. We will see. Roderick will give me which one of those I, I want to have. Maybe Triss, we'll see. Maybe I'm going to play Triss earlier for my simulated targets. And then we can do. But what do we do? That chest. Do we go for the Brawler? Dog, I can need to kill it soonish. Press pressures, I can't use it right now. So I think we just. Kill it. I think that's the, like the most sensible thing you can do here. There we go. That's why we have the bomb. To remove key targets. We actually could have gone into... If you need another bomb, we can go Roderick into Triss into another bomb. Worst case. It's not the best use of Triss, but hey. Also question for into Henrietta because like he's of course trying to get his good stuff out before, which is a passive effect so to say. Enemies don't keep the good stuff. In hand. Don't hit my ship. Well we need to get more simulate so those will survive. So can we go for Cantarella? Kind of just just Uma. You can also like pick Runestone and then go Villain later. What is it you want? There we go. We never play a tactic card. Well Damage number two. Oh 
Boost an ally, I think. Boost an ally is probably what we want to do. Victory is in our I'll make this survive. There we go. And we get more ticks in the chain again. So far, it's so good. So far, it's good. In this case, we actually play. We can actually play the Chang as well if you we want to. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Could have actually got the grades without and then used the ship more. What do we do here? Do we steal? Do we steal the Cantarella and see what we get? Are, are we feeling are we feeling risky? Are we going for a solid change or something? First, let's go for this. Let's get the seven point brawler. Sure, it's the smartest thing, but like seven points, seven points, right? Let's see if he kills it actually. Question is if we can actually set up that first free. That doesn't help him. I think it's Uma time, maybe. Oh, actually, it's Henry at the time. That's what we need to do first. Okay, he has reaches. That is annoying. That is annoying. Regis will hit me hard. Can I use Regis against him? One, two. Actually, we can. Actually, we can. Okay, that's quite okay. This would die as well. Play a bronze unit, this is something we can... What can we do against Uma? Let's just get another blow, I guess. I already forgot that we had a hand. Regis is, is dangerous there. It will get like really good value. Oh, oh for god, like, trophy catch, true. Let's play Uma and then we do the sword last. Let's do a bit two. That is probably the best thing. We can like try to boost this up. So Regis doesn't have like an easier time to hit it. Maybe we should actually boost this up. It will trigger twice then. But now there's a gap. So that's the important thing. And watch because we need to use it on the Duchess. Uh, actually, we could reach this with this, so we can go in another region. We can get another Regis. Regis the Duchess. Regis would be not too much, actually. If we could Duchess, we could get another 7 point cultist. Also, we trigger more simulate, so. You scratch my back. And I'll scratch you. <laughs> there we go. A lot of similar targets. What happened? What was the last card? I should have written it down. That's a problem when you like like record a video and like need to talk all the time. Perfect. Nice! Thanks everyone for watching the video. Subscribe if you want to see more Quent content, especially my end of Quent guides going live on weekends. And don't forget to check out my Patreon page where you can support this channel and get cool rewards in the process. My Twitch times are Monday to Thursday starting at 2 CDT. See you on stream.